Hello everyone, welcome to the full bag. Today is brew day. So we will be brewing a Muschner Helles um, with a, a single decoction. I will be using the grandfather, but uh, I will be pull out a um, decoction just to give it more uh, complexity and, and maltiness. maltiness. Um, the other steps I will be using the, the normal uh, eating element from, from the, 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 the grandfather. So the recipe. I will be using 3 kgs of uh, flour malted Bohemian Pilsner, 130 grams of Carapils, uh, uh, 1.4 kgs Munich Light, 120 grams of Melanoidin, um, just to give it more of that uh, Melanoidin kick uh, together with the, the decoction. Uh, we'll see how this comes out. Um, hops, Tetnanger, Hallertau. And I will be using SES because I only have 30 grams of Hallertau and uh, I needed just a little bit more hops. Uh, here's the mesh game plans. Uh, the yeast will be Mangrove Jacks Bohemian Lager. And I will be sparging with uh, the mineralized water just to give it more uh, crispy and, 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 and refreshing uh, uh, kick to, to the to the finished beer. Decoction mashing. The, um, people say it's uh, useless uh, nowadays and, and time consuming, but it's also a challenge and uh, I've, I've been interested in trying it uh, ever since, especially videos from Michael Dawson, the old Brewing TV series. I'll try to drop a link uh, for that. and, and um, even not so long ago, uh, Chip Walton uh, from Chop and Brew um, published also a video very uh, nice uh, where they uh, brew a German style beer um, using decoction mesh. Uh, it's a double block, one of my favorite styles. So, to try and achieve that complexity, maltiness that only decoction. Uh, gives to the fin finished product, I will be pulling it uh, and, and boiling for a short period because it's a light beer, usually with darker beers you uh, cook longer the, the, the grains and we'll be seeing how that comes out in the end. Um, so the grains are here crushed, uh, just finished crushing the grains, the, the grandfather is ready to, to fill up with the water and I'll see you in a moment when we go in. I'll, I'll show you now. It's uh, 12 degrees. I, I, the eating element was on and, and uh, I just filled it up and it's now giving me uh, 12 degrees Celsius. That water is coming out at 10 degrees Celsius which is great to, to, to cool down uh, with a um, counterflow chiller. <laughs> it won't be difficult to get this to 15 degrees uh, to, to pitch the yeast. So, it's 50-51 uh, degrees actually, it will be recirculating and, and just getting the grains soaked up 
and then I'll pull out the decoction. So I've listed the grain type, I will pull out four to four and a half uh, liters of uh, thick mesh that I will uh, raise to conversion uh, temperature and then boil in the stove top, uh, on, on the, the stove. Uh, I will probably add a, a little bit of water here to, to avoid uh, burning uh, the grains. Meanwhile, the rest of the mesh will, keep, will stay here, recirculating um, at uh, 50 degrees. Looks kind of dry, so I will be adding uh, a little bit of uh, water and, and uh, controlling the temperature. The idea is to keep it at uh, 60, 66, 67 actually for 15 minutes and then uh, boil the grain. I started boiling the grain after the conversion phase. Um, I'll keep it uh, stirring um, and boiling for 10 minutes and then add that, um, this grain back to the main mesh. Time to add the decoction back into the main mesh. We'll do it slowly and, and uh, keep an eye on, on the temperature here. The idea is to get this main mesh to 63 uh, Celsius. Uh, alpha rest is just finish, uh, it's just finish time. 25 minutes at, at uh, 67 uh, Celsius. Uh, previously, um, I had it uh, for uh, 25 minutes also at 63 for the alpha um, and I just checked and well, I don't think there's uh, any uh, starch left uh, to convert. Meanwhile, I've been uh, getting some inspiration in a commercial version. A very uh, nice example of an helis and uh, so I want I want to show you now how is the the wart looking right now after keeping this time uh, circulating and I will uh, raise the temperature to mesh out completely clear wart looking absolutely clear. Meshing is complete. I will just pull out the grain pipe and slowly
just start sparging. So the fun part, washing the grains, getting the sugars out. Well, actually, it's quite boring, eh? sparging grain, but we have to. So, well, this is uh, slowly sparging. I will turn the element back on to and um, get it into boiling position to to start uh, eating up the the wort. So uh, we were supposed to have 10:44, and and well, with the bricks reading, I think we are uh, we are spot on. Maybe uh, just a little bit um, above. Okay, uh, and now we will start pretty much a straightforward 90 minutes boil with hop addition at 60, at 30, and at 15 minutes, and Irish moss, and then cooling uh, the wort uh, pitch the yeast. The boil has started, it's a nice rolling boil. I'm getting through the hot break and uh, so within 30 minutes I'll be having the, the first uh, hop addition. Okay, flame out, time to assemble the wort chiller. I will uh, get the hot wort circulating here for, for a few minutes just to sanitize it and then uh, we'll start to pump the wort to, into the fermenter. Let's check temperature. I don't know if you can see this, this number here. Fifteen. Perfect. It's uh, exactly our pitching temperature. It's a really nice and clear, nice color wort. So the brew day is finished, I'm just waiting to finish the transfer to the fermentation. Everything went pretty well, uh, our uh, original gravity is uh, um, 1052, I had 1050, 1052 in the recipe, so it's uh, bullseye, uh, nice color, um, it's uh, tasting nicely the wort, so everything went according to plan. I'm a happy brewer, uh, preparing to uh, clean up and uh, wrap up the day. Um, I will keep you updated, maybe a couple of months, uh, I'll uh, uh, make a video about um, tasting notes about this beer. Actually, I will uh, be fermentating the beer at uh, 14 degrees. Then um, transfer to secondary, rack up, rack up the beer to the, to the secondary fermenter and lager for uh, at least four, six weeks at uh, four, five, six degrees Celsius. And then uh, bottle up and I'll let you know. 
how, how it came up, uh, this uh, decoction, uh, what can I taste from the decoction uh, mashing. It was very fun, a very fun uh, day, uh, I enjoyed very much, uh, I hope you enjoyed it also. Uh, thanks for watching, well, we'll see you next time, cheers.